Hello, welcome to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Telepath Tactics. This is episode 12. And I'm not sure what the play is here, what the move is, what we should be doing. Let's take a look. I've moved some stuff around on my people already, guys, just so you know. I figured if I was going to use a, the Steam Thopper, I guess it's like a chopper, but not, I would put it on our healer so our healer could fly around if need be, but... I'm not sure what I want for our overall folks. I also moved some equipment around. There's an IR, there's a steel axe on Madeline. I'm going to bring her into combat. So what I think I'm going to do is this. We're going to bring you, 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 and you. I'm going to bring some backliners. I'm not going to bring Scarlet for once. I'm not going to bring you. I'm going to bring our cryokineticist. Okay. And for a healer, I'm going to bring Harinax, I guess. Don't know what I want to do with our frontline guy here. Maybe bring the Sprigat, though I think the damage is going to be too little. I can't bring Facade, really? Or I have to bring... Well, I don't... What's... Hmm. Oh, but I can't bring this guy. I can bring him now. Why couldn't I bring him before? Is he not allowed to be on the front lines? Apparently not. That's weird. He just, he can't go into that. Oh, he can't. Oh, so weird. I'm so confused. Um, there's going to be a lot of pain and suffering. So we need to make sure everybody has bandages. It's going to be part of the party. You have bandages. You have bandages. Um... Madeline, 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 you have bandages. Additionally, Stabby Guy, you have bandages as well. And for this fight, we're going to equip you with a slightly better weapon. You have two apples and no bandages. How about we give you a bandage? Additionally, who do we have? The This Phoebe? Yeah, you're set. We have the Darkling, you're set. And then we have the two archers. You are set. We probably should equip that as well. And who's the other one? The gray, gray-haired guy. There we go. Okay, you have six uses left. All right, let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens, guys. I have no idea. Halt! What's this? I am Vitalia Spring. My companions and I are guardians of this pass. If you want to enter, you must pay a toll. You don't say. I do. One hundred oro. And what if I choose not to pay this toll of yours? Then you will have a very, very bad end to your day. She jostles the chains of the stone golem standing beside her. The golem shifts, producing a deep rumble of rock, grating against rock. Well, we can't pay the toll, so we're going to have to refuse. I'm afraid I must decline your generous offer. Here's my counteroffer. Move the hell out of our way. You have made a poor choice. Of that, I have no doubt. Alright, can we possibly bait anyone in, I wonder? I think maybe there's a play where we can bait someone. We'll have to see, though. Alright, well, I guess we're going to come over here. We'll get this guy way down over here, ready to do whatever it is that he does. Should be sweet, sweet, nice style. We'll get Madeline over there. We'll get our archers, hopefully, into some sort of position to do some murderous things. And our shadow healer person. You start with less energy than normal, right? Is it that? Isn't that how it works? Yeah, we're going to let you actually sit there and not move. All right, let's end the turn and see if we've baited anyone into fighting us. It looks like we've baited at least one. Alright, so I assume with a little bit of awesome, and a whole lot of luck, we might be able to do something cool here. Alright, so if I move there, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to plot this one out, guys. You'll have to forgive me. Alright, I'm going to smack you. Oh gosh, he dodged. Wow, what a load of manure. Well, that happened. We can't... Oh, great. <laughs> Why did you path that way? I guess I didn't look for the arrow. Alright, well, I had a plan. The plan is totally ruined now. 
So you get a free turn out of that whole ordeal. Oh man, this couldn't have gone worse. Well, I suppose it could have gone worse, but pretty difficult to go worse than it did. Alright, well, we're gonna attack you. I guess we're gonna come up here. Attack you again. We're gonna get out of the way. Attack you a third time? And you're almost down. Going to back up, get you to come down here and throw a heal. There you go, not so bad. And I'm gonna come over here and stab you, which will be enough to finish you. Some side stab action, totally sweet, sweet, nice style. Alright, I guess that's the play, that's the move that we decided to go with, alright. Well, next up, yep, I figured you'd come over. I'm gonna do a little pew pew, stabby, shooty, shooty, shoot action, fine, what are you gonna do? Oh, you're gonna hit our, our archer, okay, that was unexpected, but, oh, we can counter that, what? Uh oh, the golem looks angry. Oh, and apparently you've got an AoE heal. Well, that's interesting to know. The stun wore off. Is there a way to speak to any of these folks? There's no talking, huh? Alright. Well, how much health do you have? 46? Well, they all have a lot of health. Huh. Alright, well, let's grab this. Also going to utilize our no backstab policy here. I'm going to scoot over here. Going to... Move that a little bit, I guess. That wasn't really my intent, but we'll throw you down there. Which will allow you to heal, or to level up, which is fantastic. I'll have you come over here and leap over your enemy here. And backstab for 24 points of damage. Which is actually quite significant. And it guaranteed us a level up as well, and there is no talking to you, so a little bit more damage done to you. Alright, what are we going to do here? We're going to walk over and... No. We're going to finish you off. There you go, there's the 10 points. Goodbye, we are the superior cryogeneticist or whatever we are. Cryo... Ooh, we got Dows. Okay, well we're going to come over here and around the corner. Um... Hmm. Not a tremendously huge amount that we can do right now with these folks. Um, I'm actually quite concerned right now. Hmm. Okay, if we move there... We gained faint. Alright, let's see if this works. Now, this could totally backfire on me, and it could totally not work at all, but we'll see. What does this do? Hmm. Alright, we're gonna attack, and we're gonna hope for the best. Anybody else able to actually do anything? Does not really appear so. Okay. Well, that's our play. Let's see what's next. Alright, you're gonna move, and... Ooh, you grabbed whatever was in the sack, and... Ooh, you threw a heal. That's not good. Alright, you are gonna trap yourself. Excellent, that worked out. The golem is very slow, thankfully. Mind Blast is coming, the backstab is there. I'm okay with that. Alright, can we speak with this individual? We cannot. However, it does appear that we might actually be able to do some damage to this person right now, and I am more than okay with that. It will drop you like a sack of potatoes, and you dodged again. Seriously, what is her deal? Alright, hit you with that, you can't possibly dodge that one. Alright, we'll come over here and fire on you. Then back up slightly and turn. You're at full health, which is great. Alright. Seven damage, while not super impressive, might be enough to do something. 
Additionally, we can throw a heal on you. Now, I could go for the finish here, and I might still try it. Let's see here. How badly are we hurt, I guess is the question. Not that badly. We could use... okay. So we're going to utilize this. Heal up almost to full health. And if we don't miss... good. We should be able to get that. Which is going to be sweet, sweet, nice style. You're frozen, so I'm not super worried about you. I'm gonna come over here and grab this. I'm gonna use up one of my awareness things. My back is guarded again, and we're going to attack you for 20. Whew. Scary stuff, guys. Scary, scary stuff. Alright, and we're gonna end our turn. The stun wore off. It's your play now. Go for a backstab, which is going to hurt. Are we going to turn? We are. And then this guy's going to move over and throw a backstab up either on him or on her. On her. Oh, and she dodged it like a boss. Good job. You know, I bet if we had the, the engineer here, we could probably capture that guy. Hmm. Alright, well. Let's see here. Go for the kill. We got the backstab and the kill there. Which is sweet, sweet, nice. There is no talking. Alright, we're gonna come over here and finish you off. And yeah, I guess we can come over here and what is this? Dows. Okay, cool. Alright, she needs to be healed up. We can make that a reality. Our energy level is pretty low, but this guy should be easy enough to work. Let's see here. Five points of damage, not super impressive, but well, we got to level 10 with our archer. Split shot 2, interestingly enough. Not sure what all that entails, but it sounds really cool. Alright, we're going to do another bit of damage. Now, I saw this guy, or maybe one like this, on the loading screen. That's why it leads me to believe that if we brought the other chick, maybe, maybe we could have done something, but... I'm not so certain right now. Hmm. Alright, well, he... we can do a sidestab bonus here. Five damage, not tremendous. Definitely not a whole heck of a lot. Alright, we're going to come over here, and we're going to go for the backstab. It's going to do very little bit of damage, but hey, you know what? It's okay. I think we're done, we're done, and we're done. I hope he doesn't have the power to actually kill any of us straight up. That was, that was a bit painful, not going to lie. I did not enjoy that attack. Alright, going to come over here, and I don't think we have the energy to actually kill anything. So we're going to back up. I'm going to go over here and just shoot him right in the face, and it's going to do tremendous amounts of damage. It's going to be frozen, and unfortunately, like I said, I don't think we have the person we need to actually take it over. Okay, I don't understand. Is there... Is there something that I'm just not understanding at all about this? She's literally missed every single one of her attacks. I She hasn't landed a single one, has she? I don't think so. I think she's missed literally every shot, which sucks. I mean, it really does. Is this Sabrina? Is it, that's Emma, so this is Sabrina. She's level 8. We need to get her to catch up a little bit. So there we go. There we go. She's level 9 now. We got dodge and crush resistance and iron jaw trap now. Very nice. And that's it. Six kills, zero casualties. We dealt a tremendous amount of damage. We grabbed items, turns the past, and, well, we did it. I still think we could have probably gathered that guy up if we had, um... I don't remember what her name is. Ah, you return. What did you find? It is not good, Silithus. The Hesh are many. They will reach Emma and Sabrina by midday tomorrow. How many? Several dozen. They are led by one called Gulch. Ah, dozens of crickets are nothing to the toad. We shall devour them. I would have a look at their camp myself. This Gulch will be no match for me. Come. Alright, cool. Whoa, what's going on? That's creepy. It is very dark, Silithus. The moon hides behind the clouds. Yes, the darkness will be our cloak. Silithus reaches into her satchel and withdraws a mace. 
Time to serve us once more, Fangiska. At last, I have been burning for battle. We will find this gulch and we will slay him. Calm yourself, Gila. We will produce, we'll produce, we will proceed with care, step by step. Or have you forgotten how to stalk your prey? I uh, have not. You are right, of course, Silithus. Come, no more delay. We act before the moon reappears. On some maps, it is so dark that characters can't be seen beyond a certain range. Whenever you move a character in this fog of war, it uncovers new spaces, and you cannot undo the move. Every step counts. Move your characters carefully and reserve some steps so they can retreat if accidentally moving too close to previously hidden enemies. Alright folks, well, there you have it, and I don't think I got a chance to save. I'm kind of bummed out. I really wanted a chance to save there. I don't know how long this combat goes on, but we're going to probably have to break off the episode and do this another time, guys. Normally, after every combat, we get a chance to save. Hopefully, it did some autosave or, or whatever. Either way, folks, this can do it for this episode. Hopefully, you had some fun. If you did, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share it. And I will be back the day after tomorrow with more Telepath Tactics. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.